Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 of problem 2 that is demo on CNC manual pot programming for a basic milling profile involving contouring and circular pocketing using Denford Fanuc milling simulation software. Now you see here. Now this problem I have taken up in session 1. For this, I have completed the GNDM course, that is manual part programming part of it. I have completed already. And I have already explained how exactly the manual part programming ha has been done for this. And you see here, there is a contouring here. There is a contouring here. And I have told you this is all uh, A, B, C, D and all that G01. And going along a circular path uh, is all G03, anti-clockwise. If it is clockwise, it is G02. Now, since it is going from here to here, here to here, it's all anti-clockwise. I have taken G03 and also I have told this and this has a radius of 50. This and this has a radius of 60. Everything I have written here and the programming has been completed. And also I have told you about this uh, G170 and 171 blocks. That is for the circular pocketing. I have told you R0 is the surface of the job. P0 is the roughing cycle. Q2 is the peck increment. X30, Y30 will define the center of the pocket, where the pocket has to be done, where the hole has to be made. That is defined by X30, Y30. As I said, if it is X60, Y60, it will do here. If it is X0, Y60, it will do here. In that way, I want to, I want the pocket to be at the center. That's why I have taken this way. In that way, Z minus 4 is total depth of the pocket. If I make Z minus 6, depth of the pocket will be 6. Since Q2 is given, it will cut 2 mm first depth, then 4 mm then 6 mm if Z minus 6. If it is Z minus 8, it will first 2, 4, 6, 8 in that way. I naught, J naught is, there is no alliances. It's a roughing cycle. That is, this pocketing is a roughing cycle. Though no alliances left, that is why you, need, you make I naught, J naught. K will define the radius of the pocket. Okay. K minus 12 or plus 12, whatever you give, it's all same. 12 is the radius of pocket because they have given circular pocket of 24 mm. If K is 24, it will do 40 mm pocket. If K is 15, this will do 30 mm pocket in that way. And these things G175, G170, 171 cycle, I have clearly explained here. 170 block, you remember all this, whatever I have told. Even 171 also, I have explained here. P defines the cut width percentage and all that, overlapping and all that. S defines the roughing spindle speed. R defines the roughing feed in Z. F defines the roughing feed in XY. XY means on the plane. When it is cutting here, XY plane. What is the D1? This B and J, it is only applicable for finishing. Okay. Since it is roughing uh, pocketing, this and this are not applicable. Whatever you give, it will go as a waste, but better you write that. Uh, okay. Now, once you uh, know this, uh, this has to be entered in the simulation software. Now, what do you do? You click on DOS box. Okay. Then mount. Colon drive D is mounted on local directory D colon that is you get like this drive D is mounted as local directory then you do D colon slash in the directory to D then then since we are doing mill CD mill you uh, open a directory mill in here what you do is, Fanuka, Fanuk is mil dot exe you do. Fanuk m dot exe, Fanuk m is mil, mil is late. Fanuk m dot exe you do, click on that. Now this software will be opened here. Okay. Now alt, enter if you do, the screen size will be enlarged. I don't want to enlarge the screen and all that since I cannot operate the mouse. I'll... Uh, I'll keep it as it is. Now you see here the program what you have done in session one. The program what you have done on session one. I've done it in I've done it already. I have already entered. You do F3 file name for load. I have entered already and saved it as 03BG mill FNC. Okay, in that way. Now you are getting the program. You see here mill at x60 y 160 z30. This is 160 is 160. Z is the thickness and all that. T1, D04, D08, whatever I have explained. Everything I have already entered. 
okay and uh, profiling this is all profiling and g170 171 you get here you see here 170 171 then do the pocket and as you see here yeah, that is 170 171 it is x30 y30 will define the center of the pocket z minus 4 is the depth of the pocket okay and it will be in terms of uh, q2 peak increment two times that is first 2 mm depth of cut next 4 mm depth of cut and all that it will do i not j not since it is a roughing pocket this alliances are zero okay and k12 will define the that is uh, ra radius of the pocket okay that is 12 means 24 mm will be the diameter of the pocket and also i have also already told you uh, what is 175 cut 75 cut width percentage and all that everything i tell you again okay now you just see how exactly it has to be done if there are some uh, problems what you might encounter also what you do is first you do f9 x syntax you do the cnc program is okay okay then then again f9 you put dry then you put dry then you report you it says move exceeds limits this is a normal problem what you encounter you must know how to overcome it what you do is you do escape okay take the cursor to the top take the cursor to the top then f9 you press again set datum you do change the datum because once the datum is here once the datum is here these are all negative items it won't take care because there is an arc here it will be negative as a result it won't work that is why i'll uh, i'll shift it somewhere here my uh, job zero i'll shift it somewhere here so that in this part of the portion it will be positive only okay this part of the arc will be positive change the datum compulsorily otherwise you won't get the answer please understand you must change the datum then once you change the datum again if a function that is f9 you put okay then dry run you put you see here, nothing is happening now. No more, no, no, move exceeds limits and all that is not coming. It is, this is 160, this is 160, and this is 30. That is, the, the 30 mm is the depth. Now, what you do is, once everything is over, that is F9, you again press. Okay, set data you already made. Run program, I'll do. Run program, if I do, you just see completely. See, the profiling has been done already. Now, as a yellow line, I have told you, it is all movement uh, movement of the tool in the space. This is the home position of the tool. You see here, minus 2. Minus 2 is the depth of cut. Then minus 4 it becomes. Because Z minus 4 is the total depth of cut. Now it is going in a spiral way. Okay. And the overlap will be, as I said, 25% overlap between the first path and the second path. Okay. If it is going in a spiral way, it is the overlapping will be 25%. Okay. Now you see here, it is doing this. Now it has done this and it has gone to the home position. Now you see here function f9 if you do and if you give the pd view, it is doing perfectly. You see here this is that this is the profiling and all that. This depth of cut is only 4 mm. Okay, 4 mm. It has done in two installments. What you can do is you see here now what you can do is. Now, you see here, now what I'll do, if you want the depth of cut to be increased, okay, x30, y30, z, I made z minus 6, that means the depth of cut will be 6, and as you see, q2 is, the increment is 4, 2 it will do, 4 it will do, 6 it will do, and in that way, Three times it will do. Then you take the tool to the home position. That is the tool, uh, sorry, cursor to the starting position. Then as usual you do. Function, that is F9, X index. Your CNC program is okay. F9, dry run. You see here, dry run, you should not have any comments. Sir. If it is that, you set the datum. Okay, as I said earlier. Now, function, F9, that is F9. Okay. You run the program. Run the program, you see here. Now it is done. Okay. Now you see here, x0, y0, z10. Now it has come to the center. Okay. 
Now you see here the tool is here minus 2. Can you follow? Z is minus 2. It is cutting. See here. Uh, it will do again. And that means till uh, the diameter becomes 24, it goes on uh, doing. Okay. Now it is minus 4 it is. Okay. Then it is minus 6 also. Minus 6 also. Then after minus 6, it will go to the home position. Uh, now you should understand this. See here, always understand this is the home position. From the home position, tool comes rapidly to this and, and we will do this profiling. Okay, and we will do this profiling like this, like this, like this and like this. Since I have used a diameter 4, this, this slot, this width will be 4 mm. Okay, diameter 4. Okay, if I make 6, uh, the width will be 6 mm. Okay, if I make 2, the width will be 2 mm. In that way it does. Okay, this is the uh, contouring. Contouring or profiling. The width of this, since the width of the, the, the diameter of the cutter is 2, the width of the slot will also be 2 mm. And the, since I have given the depth of cutter 0.5, the depth will be 0.5. That has been seen already. And now you see here, once this is done, Again, it has done on circular pocket at the center. That is because of that, because of x30, y30. Okay, it is because of x30, y30, because this already 60, x30, y30. If I make x60, y60, this pocket will be here. This, it will do here. I don't want that to be done. I want at the center. That is why I have done it here. Okay, now if you see here, okay, function, that is f9, if you go, and if you do 3D view, you see the depth of cut has increased. You have done a perfect thing here. You got the profiling correct. You already also got the pocketing also right. And the diameter is 24. And the depth is 6 mm. Since I have increased, that is minus 6. It has already increased. Now you see here, once it is done this, what you do, let us say you have entered the program. Once you have entered the program, function, that is F10 you do, okay. CNC files you get, click on that, save as, okay. Now you save in your own name, okay. 03. I have saved this, okay. 03 MK, mill I have saved. Okay. It has saved in this way. Now you, you can see this. I have escaped. Okay, 03 MK mill I have done. Okay. Now you see here, once it has done, let us say 03 MK mill, you already saved. Let us say you see here function that is F10 CNC files new means. Okay, the screen becomes empty. Screen becomes empty. Okay, now you are entering here. Okay. If you have entered already, you, you enter here and execute. Since I have uh, already saved, what I will do? Function F3 I will do. Function F3. And I will see that your MK or whatever it is, I will just call it. Uh, it is here. 0, 3 MK. It has come again. You see it? It has come again here. And you can uh, do in the same way. F9. You go for th syntax. Uh, your CNC program is okay. Okay, in that way, you can complete this. Did you follow? And uh, in the same way, function F9, dry run if you do, dry run you do. In the same way, function F9, if you do the run program, you do the run program also, it will do. In the same way, the program program will be done. Okay, and it will, uh, as you said, it is Z minus 6. It will do it in installments of 2 mm. Okay. And the total depth of cut will be 6 mm. And the overlapping will be 25%. And this is the pocket 24 mm. I have given K12. That defines the pocket. If I make K15, 30 mm pocket. K20, 40 mm pocket. In that way, any, any diameter can be controlled using this. Okay. Now, we have come to the end of session 2 of problem 2. We'll start with the problem three shortly. Thank you very much for viewing. Thank you. Thank you, friends.